So today we're playing Bound to College, a 3D uh, game in which we're in college and we're failing our classes and we got to do something about it. So let's go ahead, get started with this game. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need something here. Um, let's see. I don't know if I'm going to need something here, but I might. I might, so. I hope not. I, I'm not planning to get too far in the game today. I'm planning to play the majority of it by my lonesome. That is a loud Loxus. Do you want? Do we want to talk about that? Let's turn that down. Good talk. Um, knock knock. Knock knock. God, look at his balding head. Tell him to come in. Uh, don't scowl at us. Don't scowl. Oh, is the music still a little bit loud? It's still a little bit loud. That's better, I think. Was that too low? I don't know. Maybe look there. Alright, let's try that. You're gonna do fan art of me? Well, God bless. Can't wait to see it, sis. Anyhow, um, administrator says, what is it? <laughs> Why are we- what? Hello? Hello? What is this? I can't even- Anyway, uh, may I come in? I'll just do my normal voice for him. Would that cause you to stop knocking on my door? It looks like we're flirting with him. Sorry, sir, I didn't mean to disturb you. And yet here you are, disturbing me. What are you waiting for? Take a seat. Um... Okay. <laughs> we look so salacious. Absolutely. We're like a harlot. Look at us. We know what we want, and we want it now from this old, ugly mob character of a man. That's disgusting. Um, thank you, sir. The seat of the chair is hard and unyielding. <laughs> Not unlike the cold expression on the administrator's face. Does anyone else hate the text bubble? Because I hate the text bubble. I absolutely hate the text bubble. Yeah. It's just, I don't like this color, I don't like the shape of it. I don't like the border. Don't waste my time. What do you want? Is this the administration office? The administrator locked his eyes on yours for what felt like an eternity. Did you read the sign on my door? Y yes, sir. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what does it read? Administration. I was wondering, maybe you cannot read. Since you can read, why do you have to ask? Um, so what do you want? I lost my student ID. Another long look, this time from toe to head. How can you see your little toesies? So I called you here to tell you to stop being a harlot like you are right now. <laughs> uh... Uh, he does! He's just, he does just give off some major thought energy in this... right here in this image. This... this is because you young people today are reckless and careless and stupid. What's with the piano loop? Yeah, it's... try to ignore the piano loop. Um... Yeah. Should we agree with him? Let's just ignore him. Let's just play it... let's just be like, we're above it. We're above this. We're just trying to... We're just trying to have some sex with the mob character. We don't need this sort of insult. Very well. What is your name? My name is... Let's just do Kuro, or should we do something weird? No, I think we should just do Kuro. Let's keep it normal. Let's... We don't wanna... We don't wanna repeat of... What was it? Nutslut? We don't wanna repeat of that. Remember that? 
Do you guys remember me? Nut Slut? Maybe you don't remember Nut Slut. It was a long time ago. Anyway. Very well, Kuro. How old are you? Age? 50? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no minors are permitted here. Uh, two? All right, so you are two years old. Y yes, sir. What grade are you in? I am a sophomore. And how did you want? <laughs> did he just give up? <laughs> Did he just give up? <laughs> so he was like, no minors allowed here. Now that we're two, he's just like, all right, that sounds that sounds like that's an order. <laughs> Did he just give up? Does he not care anymore, or is he, is he just is he accepting that? Like, girl, does he not care? Whatever. I think he just thinks I'm trolling. Um, and how did you lose your ID? Another judging look. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Watch your tone, young man. What? <laughs> what tone did I say that in? I was fearful. I was fe Did you not see me? I didn't mean to. What? Why watch my tone? Are you aware this program contains nudity, sexual interactions, and explicit content? Is this a subject I can study? <laughs> uh, should I copy his little poses when I'm doing- when I'm reading out his dialogue? <laughs> Is this a subject I can study? <laughs> oh, you can't see my arms, but I was doing my arms the way he had them out. If you don't agree to this, I will have to force you off the campus. So take this serious, please. I am of legal age and I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Don't game over me, Mr. Administrator. I understand. Also, this program contains homosexual content. R really? Oh wait, I didn't do it. I didn't do my pose. I should have done it like. Oh my gosh, you guys can't see my arms though. <laughs> um, you see my hand? Uh, really? <laughs> Uh, this would not have been possible in my day. These people would be locked away or worse. What, Ned? Ned? Hello? Ned, we haven't met you yet. What's going on? I don't know what's happening. Is this an error or is he intentionally here? Um, I don't know. Nowadays, they're encouraged to spread their filthy ideology everywhere. I don't feel- I feel like this is an error. This doesn't make any sense. I feel like it's an error that Ned's image and name is here. That was weird. Wear a tank top, Corel? <laughs> Why do you want me to wear a tank top, sis? Um, the administrator closes his eyes and starts to audibly breathe in and out until his breathing frequency is at a normal pace again. Anyway, this is the official policy. If you do not agree, you have my sympathy. But unfortunately, I could not grant you access. Oh god, I'm hiccuping from all the cereal I ate. Go LGBTQI+. There's too many things on there. Too many. What does I even stand for anymore? What is I again? I don't... I don't remember. I don't remember what I stands for. Ugh. Oops. I don't remember. Gay is fine for me. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Even this is obviously not enough. Ugh, you should be doing administrator's faces too. What? How do I do that face? That... Even this is not enough. <laughs> I don't know. Furthermore, you may be confronted with bondage and humiliation for many delicious sins for which you will burn in hell for all eternity. No problem. Mm. 
Sounds like fun. Hell. All eternity. He gives you another one of those severe looks. Very well, here's some brochures in case you change your mind and seek a way back to God. Why, homosexuality is a sin. Your way straight to God. <laughs> uh, reject the offer? Take it. No, I don't need the- I don't need God. I'm good, thank you. I've done my duty to save your soul. I'm pretty sure I will hear your screams all the way up into heaven. Oh, will you now, Mr. Administrator? <laughs> oh, can you take me to heaven right now? Or maybe I'll meet you in hell. Don't be ridiculous. Your relationship with the administrator decreased by one to negative one. Study subject. Um... What do we want as a study subject? I doubt it matters that much, but... Let's see... I stands for intersex. Um, art, economics, sport, literature, engineering... I don't know. I don't want- should I be an art major? I feel like that has a lot of twinks- a lot of twink energy in it. Yeah, let's go with that. Really? Art? Also known as future homeless? If I ever see you painting on anything other than paper, you will regret it, I promise you that. Your relationship with the administrator decreased by 0 0.25 to 1, negative 1 1.25. Can I have my ID now, please? Oh, there is a message for you. A message? Who could, who could possibly have left you a message for you with the administrator? Even he didn't know you'd be coming to his office today. The headmaster of this school would like a word with you. It's unusual for him to take an interest in a student. He normally has much bigger things to worry about. This is usually not a good sign. You look happy. The tangled knot seems to form in your guts and then sink like a stone. Does the message say why the headmaster needs to see me? You think hard, but can't imagine what this could be about. The semester just started. You can't be in trouble already, can you? They couldn't stick with whole numbers? No. No, it does not. Is this all? You'll find you have a new roommate this year. You should return to your dorm and introduce yourself. Perhaps you may even try reading a book or two in the library. I hope my roommate this year is better than the one I was stuck with last year. The headmaster may be ready for you to visit his office in a few hours. Now please leave. What? Why are we looking back at? Who are, is he looking back at me? Current grade? There's just a bar. A bar is, does not represent any sort of grading system I am aware of. Now let's meet, meet our roommate, I guess. I don't know who he's looking back at. Um... Your new roommate should arrive any minute now. Whoever he is, you'll be sharing your living space with him all year. Let's just hope he's chill. You have to admit, you're a little bit nervous. What if you don't make a good first impression? If you try to steady yourself, just act cool. That's acting cool? After all, you're going to share a room with him, sleeping near someone, storing your stuff where he has access. There's a lot of trust that needs to exist between two roommates, ideally anyway. You two better get along with each other. God, he's really changing positions a lot just thinking about it. And your roommate last year was an a-hole, always playing music so you couldn't sleep, and you're reasonably sure he was the one stealing all your socks. Where else could they keep disappearing to? You spent the morning unpacking your belongings and getting your half of the room fully set up. After a few hours, someone knocked at the door. Come in. Ugh. Alright, Julian. What sort of voice does Julian want?
It's too many letters, even part of the community, it's too much. <laughs> so that wink is the look of someone that thinks a good first impression is posing nude on his bed? Maybe, maybe. Pose, 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 pose. I know, he's the little model, isn't he? He's posing for that camera. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. All right. Um, let's see. I can give him... Julian looks crusty. He does look a little crusty. I won't lie. He looks a little crusty. I won't lie. Um, are you Kuro? Yes, and you must and you must be Julian. Nice to meet you. He's tall and has a firm handshake. He moves with an easy, confident stride. A bright smile. The kind that can light up a room. You hope you don't screw this up. What's up with that face? I like how he can't fit in... I like how he can't fit in the screen because he's too tall for us. And what kind of handshake is that? Is this how straight men greet them? Greet each other? Hello? Speaking of which, you should let his hand go. We're not holding on to his hand, we're holding on to his arm. And stop staring at him. Um, so which one is my bed? Here, this is yours. Make yourself at home. Alright. He grabs his luggage and carefully... The way he's like biting his lips, sort of, and kind of looking at us makes me think he's like... He's like asking us, like, should I go up behind him and violate him? Like, should I do it, guys? He grabs his luggage and carefully starts to unpack things. There's an uneasy silence in the room. You sneak glances at him while he has his back to you. Somehow you gotta break the ice. Y'all shake your bro's forearms? Like, I don't know. Are the straights just grabbing the elbows nowadays? Perhaps. Ugh, breeders. Say something. Tell a joke? Make a compliment. Sink a compliment. Let's get it weird. Ugh. What the hell? Imagine if your new roommate just came up to you, grabbed you by the arm like this. Like, what? And started complimenting you. Like, hello. Um, well, I think I got really lucky. Like, we're already making moves on Julian. We just met him. Um, what makes you say that? It seems like you're my new ro- it seems like my new roommate is a nice guy. Thank you, I guess I try to be a good person. We're gonna have to get along if we share a bedroom, right? For what it's worth, you seem like a decent guy. We'll be friends in no time. What? And you're attractive. Hello, come on now. We can't just be... We can't be coming on to him this strong. We just met him. Look at his face. Um, what does that have to do with anything? We're both guys. Hello. Okay, Julian, have you ever heard of a homosexual? Because you're touching one. He seems a bit confused by your compliment. I think I'm going to enjoy every minute we spend together. Oh, okay. I am flattered, but not interested. Uh, I, I, I'm not homophobic or anything. Just keep your hands to yourself is all I'm asking. I don't like random guys touching me. It makes me feel uncomfortable. God, this is effing awkward. I'll unpack my stuff later. I have places to be. Look at his face. He doesn't look uncomfortable. He looks pissed off. Oh yeah, sure, of course. I have stuff to do too. Maybe you should unpack your stuff while I unpack mine. Right? Real smooth. Have you ever heard of coming on too strong? Julian is practically ignoring you now. This year could have started better. Your relationship to Julian decreased by by one to negative one. Maybe it would have been better to get to know each other first. Well, I didn't realize compliment him was code for act like a hussy. But apparently it is. Several minutes go by as you both customize your dorm room and get yourself settled in for the coming school year. I don't blame Julian. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So, what did you pick as your field of study? I'm an engineering student. I study art. I don't mean to any disrespect, but what kind of... 
But what kind of job do you think you'll get with an art degree? There's more to life than money. My parents have all the money they could want and they're utter, they're utter bees. I study what calls me, not what I think will make me rich. It calls you? I guess that's as good a reason as any. What is it about art that calls you? I make 3D art, online comics, visual novels, and other, uh, personal stuff. Um, actually, I remember when my parents walked in on me making, uh, art. They weren't pleased with what they saw. Your parents don't like your art? They think it will affect poorly on them as parents if their kid becomes a poor artist. They don't care what I want, just how it reflects back on them. You could say I study art as an act of defiance. As an illustration major, you feel attacked. Aw, don't listen to them. Well, it's your life, so you should study art if it's what you enjoy. I just wish I didn't have to take all these stupid non-art courses. Math, English, science. If I'm honest, I think I'm way over my head in all of them. I am sure you'll figure something out. Okay. I guess he's just- I, I guess we're just always gonna be coming back here whenever we have something else to do. Whenever we need to make a choice of what to do. And new people are gonna show up. You sent for me, sir? The headmaster looks up from his work. He makes 18 plus yaoi art? Yeah. Um... Yes, Kuro, come in, please. Okay, well, let's stop grabbing our arm and looking off to the side and just sit down. You've never been in his office before, not to mention by personal invitation. People being sent here usually means they're in serious trouble. What is going- what are the pictures on his desk? Who's he- who's he kissing over there? Is that his son? That is his son. Maybe he's just hugging him. Is something wrong? Take a seat. Please. What is this music? Is the headmaster a vampire? I sent for you because I'm unable to find your essay. Essay? Are you my professor? Hello? You feel your cheeks get warm. Essays usually take months to complete and affect your rating substantially. Essay? You honestly did not know there was an essay due to be handed in right at the start of the semester. What is he talking about? I don't understand. Yes, the essay you were supposed to hand in when you arrived at school. What? What is this? I... God, his eyebrows are just so light I can barely see him. I... what? Really? Which essay? On the other hand, you're not the best organized student. Did it slip your mind? The headmaster is a DILF. The entrance essay? Ew. The school did mail letters to remind each student. So will you admit that you did not even write your essay? This feels more like an interrogation. You've already essentially admitted that you had no idea there was an essay due to be handed in. Who checks letters in the mail, though? Wait, hello? I honestly didn't know we had to write an essay over the summer break. Must have somehow not received the school letters, or... This is very unfortunate. He sighs. Because now I will have to score you 0 out of 10 points for it. 0 out of 10 points in what? This isn't a class. Oh, oh, that is bad. Even if you manage to have good marks on all your other topics, this will reduce your score significantly. What are you talking about? What course am I getting a 0 out of 10 in? This isn't a course. I don't get it. But, oops, I didn't mean to click that. And last year was a close call already. So you will start this term with 0 points. You have the lowest marks of everyone in your year. You will have to do much better than this if you want to stay here. The scholarship requires you to maintain certain scores. Plus you took a big loan to pay for school expenses. You can't afford to leave without a degree. Maybe you should go search for a job. The kind that doesn't require an education. Why are you... Hello? You're a headmaster. You can't talk to me this way. Working in a fast food restaurant for the rest of your life while trying to pay back student loan debt? No way. 
I heard the local fast food chain hires college dropouts. Oh, did he read your mind? Zero out of ten in what class? You can't just have a universal grade? Well, in this college, we do. You get one grade for the, all your classes combined. And we're at a zero out of ten right now. That's how this school works. This is serious, really serious. You start sweating. There must be something I can do. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Pull down my tank top, expose my nipple. Maybe I could reevaluate your marks. There are services you can provide to the schools to gain favor. You don't like the twinkle in his eyes when he said that. But at this point, you should sell your soul just to stay in school and get your degree. Please, I will do anything. Ugh. Really? Anything? Oh my god, look at how devious he is in the bottom left corner. Like, what's happening here? <gasps> For example, if I would ask you to remove your shirt... What did you say? I was taking off my tank top, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a nasty bitch, and I didn't need you to ask. What? Uh, he looks at you for a long moment, letting the message sink in before he continues. Would you do it? What kind of sick game is he playing? You want me to strip my shirt off? Okay, don't act like you don't want this. Not after you coming on to Julian at, like, exactly two microseconds after meeting him. This is not fair. Yes, and do it slowly. Usually I'm the one sexually harassing other men. I don't like it when the tables are flipped on me. Things like this only happen to women, don't they? You literally just did this to someone a couple minutes ago. Like, you literally just sexually harassed someone a couple minutes ago. How can you say this only happens to women? Well, you know... Gotta do what you gotta do to get that grade. You get up and slowly raise your shirt over your head. Moving the shirt, you place it on the chair. Oh my god. He just sits there and looks at you. This is weird. You try to hold your eyes up. Why are we standing like that too? Like, I'm ready, sir. Please give me another order, sir. I'm just a whole sir. <laughs> you try to hold your eyes up to his gaze, but you fail and look down to the floor. Very good. Now turn around. You like... <laughs> the way he's looking at the headmaster, like... You like what you see? You like that cake? You like these cheeks? You like these cheeks, headmaster? You want to slap these bongo drums? Uh... You do as he said, you can still feel his gaze, but at least you don't have to face it for the moment. Your reevaluation score increased by 0 0.25 to 10 out of by 0 0.25 to 0 0.25 out of 10. <sighs> Turn around again. Now drop your pants. Are we wearing underwear? Alright guys, but um, that's I think where we're gonna be ending this episode for today. I'm gonna split this up into two parts for my first recording session of this game. Um, but thank you all for watching. Um, this game is pretty wild right out of the gate, and I love it. Um, and overall I would actually say the 3D art um, looks pretty good is what I would have said a second ago, but do you see what's happening with Kuro's arm right here? Look at his arm, do you see how it's sort of cut off? Like, part of it just got cut off because the professor, not the professor, the headmaster is here. I feel like the headmaster's image is somehow clipping into Kuro's image. And so part of his arm is literally getting cut off from view. LMAO. <laughs> but anyway, but still, the, I think the 3D art's actually pretty good, and some of it, you know, there's actually a couple animations here and there, um, that look 
halfway pretty decent, pretty good. Um, like, we already seen the title screen, and there's another one in the next video that you'll see tomorrow, I think. Um, there's also another animation tomorrow for you guys. So yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty good overall. Um, I, I look forward to playing this again sometime, so... I'll see you guys in the next episode of Bound for College. Bye, guys.